Two people from here in West Michigan had their design chosen for the state's first ever I Voted sticker competition. And today we're hearing from both of those winners. 13 Your Side's political reporter Josh Albertus has the story. The voting is over, not at the polls, but for what you'll get at the polls. I didn't really think it was going to win. The Michigan Secretary of State announcing nine winners across three categories in its months-long contest to decide what I Voted sticker designs clerks can choose from to offer to voters at the ballot box. Some of those designs coming from right here in West Michigan. Me and my friend, we hang out with our younger siblings a lot, and we kind of just wanted so like, because they don't really know how to spell yet or anything. So I want to do something simple, kind of like how they draw on color. But Rockford middle schooler Gabby Warner isn't the only winner from this neck of the woods. You know, I was, of course, the kid drawing all the time. Later graduating from Grand Valley State and starting her own studio with her husband, Bree Tanner has worked in graphic design for years. Her career now taking on a new twist with this winning design. You can see like how the, just like the, the intricacy of the, the gradients and the artwork there. Tell us about, you know, there's always a, an artistic process to it. What was the artistic uh, thinking and, and process to getting to this design where you were like, oh, oh we yeah. have an idea. I love those kind of regional phrases or words that you um, have because it kind of makes the Midwest or wherever you are feel a little bit more localized, a little bit more community based. Like, wow, we're all one nation, but we all have our own little things and that can keep surprising you. And so the word ope is something that when I noticed that I said it, when I noticed that people in Michigan say it, I just I dove hard into it. <laughs> I was like, this is a great interjection. But it's not just the phrase that carries a message, even the color, she said, has its own deeper meaning. I was kind of thinking about the idea of obviously the colors, the red and the blue, but blending them together and getting that variation in between um, all of the perspectives across the range of voters. But she hopes the humor of the idea can also be a powerful tool. I think voting can be really stressful. Uh, I think this time of year can be stressful for people, but once it's done and you've cast your vote, really no matter um, all sides, you usually take that sticker and they put it on their shirt and they take a selfie with it and they post it online and like that alone is really unifying. And I think that's really cool. A little bit of joy is what she thinks this simple phrase could add to this complex and ever tense political arena. That it will just bring people out and give them a little bit of a smile on the day and regardless of their viewpoints, bring them together um, a bit in just an act of expressing yourself and your voice and to just get out there and go vote. Josh Albertus 13 on your side. That was fun. I love the oh, <laughs> oh I voted. <laughs>